the term I hope that these fucking fire trucks leave me alone. Sandy for it. The great thing about Daniela is that she's a person who goes for what she loves. She's a person of passion rather than someone chasing the money. Daniela started acting professionally in 2016 after graduating from the theater program at Dawson. Since then, she's been in shows such as Mother and Bold Type. Her next gig? A very special Adam Sandler Jennifer Aniston project named Murder Mystery. This week, Victoria Flores takes over Montrealocity, and Montrealocity presents Daniela Sandy for it. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and who you are? Uh, well, I am Daniela Sandyford. I am an actress in Montreal. Um, a little bit about who I am. Um, I grew up in Mascouche, which is, uh, think of Laval, think 30 minutes away from Laval. Uh, I went to Dawson. I went in the theater program for three years, graduated from there, and then uh, decided that I didn't want to continue in school. I wanted to just go out and experience and learn acting on my own. And I started auditioning, and that's where I'm at right now still. So. So, when did this start and how did this passion come to be? Um, it started at a really young age. I remember when I was growing up, I'd watch movies and, and try to mimic what the actors were doing. I'd watch stuff like Ace Ventura with Jim Carrey and be like, oh my god, like, how does he do that with his face? I want to do it too, and it would just get me really, really excited. So, when I spoke to my parents and they told me that it's actually a job, it's not real, I'm like, I want to do that yeah. and that's kind of where it started I'm like I need to do this no matter what it takes I'm gonna try to audition for school plays audition for this and try to get into it and uh, I was lucky enough to do that that's who are your influences in your acting career in my acting career um, it's hard there are a bunch of there are a couple of actors that I, I watch and I'm like oh my gosh how do you do that and it's amazing um, I think Diane Keaton is one of my favorite actresses I think no, not a lot of people say that, but she's terrific. James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, you know, Meryl Streep, there's, there's a bunch of them. Depends which type of genre, there are like strong actors in each. Could agree. Um, who are your influences in life? Uh, in life, someone who really influenced uh, this, this feeling of wanting to follow your passion and stick with it no matter what people say was my grandfather. Uh, he was a very, very hard worker who supported us in everything we did, whether it was sports or art or music. And uh, he's definitely someone I think about when I'm having a hard time and be like, I need to, I need to do this for him because he would be sitting next to me going like, you need to do this, get through it, work through it, give it your all. What do you love most about acting? There are a lot of things I love about acting. Uh, the main thing for me is that acting is very therapeutic for me. It's very nice to kind of forget about my problems for a second and step into someone else's shoes. I feel like that also helps me deal with a lot of my own problems, you know, so I think doing it as a way to get my passion out and just to get some like stress out or anger, you know, I can yell at someone and it'd be like in a very safe space or I can cry and it's fine, you know, like doing that, being able to play with a bunch of different emotions that I might not normally in my life. What movie would you love to be in? Oh, such a hard question. Um, I would really like to be in the movie The Atonement with Keira Knightley and James McAvoy. I think it's a great movie that like ripped my heart open. I'd love to do that to someone else from watching my movie. I sure. definitely love that. What is your favorite genre of movie to act in? My favorite genre of movie to act in? Um, definitely dramatic stuff. I like the really extreme, you know, crying or screaming and stuff. Like I love comedy. Comedy is definitely my favorite genre of film, but I'm not very good at it. So for me, it's, it's definitely the the stuff that really gets you into a really emotional stress place that you know, I guess where all the magic is. It's in, the, it's in the tears. Who would you like to collaborate with? It could be a director, actor, whatever. I think I'd really, I'd love to collaborate with Tarantino. I think he has You know, at first, I'll be honest with you, when I started watching his movies, I didn't like them at all. I really didn't like him as a director, but sitting down and re-watching them, like something like Hateful Eight, I was like, this is fucking good. Yeah. This is really good. Yes, like, it's crazy, but it's crazy people make the best art sometimes. So I think collaborating with him would be, be a journey, and I'd like to do He's it. He's like, I, I, just, I just can't, I can't. 
scale of one to even. I just can't. That's, a, that's it. Description, I just can't. When you have to act happy or sad, what do you do to better your performance? So a lot of people have different methods of getting into a type of emotion that, the, that they're being asked to do. Uh, for me, what I find the best is, is to really believe in the given circumstances that you're in. And the given circumstances are you know, what the character is dealing with in the moment. So if my character is going through a breakup or something, I, don't, I won't think of my dog dying, I'll think I'm this character, I'm going through this breakup, I'm about to lose this person, or I'm happy I'm losing this person, and I try to really think as the character, and that often will bring out very organic and raw emotions. For sure. I remember when I had my first breakup, I was a total mess. Aren't we all, honestly? <laughs> what can we expect from you in the next few months? Hopefully, uh, me still working. Hopefully, um, you know, me being on more shows or more movies and stuff, I'd really, really like that. Right now, uh, Montreal is a really great place to live in because a lot of projects do come film in here and there's a lot of good Montreal talent here. So just uh, hopefully, me still auditioning, you see me pop up on your screen somewhere, whether it's like a commercial or something, be like, yeah, I know that girl. Where do you hope your acting will take you long term? Long term, I hope my acting brings me to a place where I can start to be a bit more selective about the projects I work on. I hope to be working on, you know, bigger budget films. That what I what I'd love is that this world is, you know, created for you. You're on these giant sets in like Mel Studio and stuff, where you walk in and you really believe you're in New York or you're in this this warehouse, stuff like that. I'd love to have a bigger area to play in. I think that'd be super great. And yeah, being able to approach directors and be like, hey, I really want to work with you, and they'd be like, yeah, let's do that. Because you know. They've seen my work, they like it, they don't. Where can people find you? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I feel like Instagram is the place I post more often, so I feel like it's gonna be written somewhere on screen, so you can you can click that. Perfect, and anything else to add? Yes, to all you uh, young actors out there, just do it. It's If you have a passion to, for doing this, it is hard. It's one of the hardest jobs in the world. But if you really do love it, it's going to be the most rewarding. And I think, you know, don't stop because don't stop. You're going to get a lot of no's, but that one yes will be super, super rewarding. Yeah. Don't stop, don't quit. Never stop, never stop. All right, well, thank you so much for the interview. We really appreciate it. And it's just good to have artists surrounding us. So thank you. Young too. And that'll be all for Montrealocity today. I am your host, Victoria Flores. See you all next time. Bye!